Well, the head bone's connected to the neck bone, and the neck bone's connected to the, the tubes and wires, and the tubes and wires are connected to the beating heart, and the... Hey, now, just wait a handful of minutes. Here at A Handful of Minutes, we don't normally do film reviews, but I have found something that I think is worth making an exception for. The film is called Experiments in the Revival of Organisms, and the film documents said experiments as conducted by Dr. S.S. Bryakonenko at the Institute for Physiology and Therapy in Voronezhev. This may come as a surprise to most people, but I'm not a doctor, or a veterinarian, or even a regular film reviewer. No, I'm just some jackass with his own internet show. And so, we're going to be looking at this film as it will be to most people. Web video fodder. Cute animals? Well, we're off to a good start. Yes, all the experiments are being done on adorable dogs. Given that one of those experiments involves cutting a dog's head off and then keeping it alive as long as possible, this gives the film three more qualities that are great for a web video. Gruesomeness, weird science, and something for people to get shitty with each other about in the comments section. There's also some basic animation to help illustrate the experiments, although it would have been better if they'd been done with Flash. The experiments involve using machines that look like they were made from a Model T Ford to operate individual organs, keep that dog head alive for a while, and to remove all of this dog's blood before pumping that blood back in after a few minutes. The sheer craziness of the video ups the chance of it being shared online, and the controversy over whether or not it's real provides yet more grist for the comment mill. For example, see how the dog's head is moving? How is it doing that without neck muscles or a spine? And yet, there must be something to the experiments performed by Dr. Bryakonenko, since it was information from those very experiments that facilitated the first open-heart surgeries in Russia, performed by the good doctor in 1957. I figure that while there must have been some merit to the experiments, the experiments in the film were staged so as to help raise or justify funding by portraying the results as being more impressive than they really were. I'm in no position to judge, given the promotional video we made for the ill-advised in a handful of minutes, Breast Enlargement Pill Merchandise. I mean, this product would be pretty good, I guess you should probably buy this product, 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 money for the product, money for the product, buy this product. However, the film does miss several key elements to a successful web video. For example, it doesn't have or talk about any celebrities, there are no stupid rollover ads that nobody clicks on anyways, there's nothing to do with video games, there's no shitty title card, nor is there any narration by a man with zero personality and a terrible microphone. Oh, and it has some women in it, but they aren't even attention whores. It's also way too long. I mean, who can watch the same video for 20 whole minutes? So, okay. I think in the end, I am going to go ahead and recommend that you watch this video. But, just for you guys, we've put together a special remix that covers all the necessary criteria. Enjoy! Yeah! <laughs> So, uh, my name is Kevin, I found this video, Experiments in the Revival of Organisms, and uh, I was just looking for stuff on Kanye, but this is what I found. It's all about these Russian guys who did these experiments. Uh, they did them on dogs with the organs and machines and things, and uh, the whole thing was kind of weird. It made me think of uh, basically Half-Life 2, and I was thinking maybe I could be like the guy from Half-Life 2, and I could go in and save them with my wicked bang bang zippity zap zap guns, and then beat the boss, and then the dogs who are in trouble would be the dogs who are saved, and the dogs would like me, and that would solve my problems. Well, Oliver, that certainly does look like a recipe for guaranteed web video success. I can already hear the sound of Lorne Michaels picking up his phone, dialing our number, then quickly reconsidering and hanging up. Thank you.